Hi, my name is David. Today we're going to do number 1636 sort array by increasing frequency. We have a function that takes in an array of nums and it wants us to return a new array that's sorted. So we look here, one has a frequency of two, two has a frequency of three, three has a frequency of one. So it's sorted from ascending frequency. So three has the lowest, and then goes to ones, and then how many, and twos goes next. And then there's a catch here that if they have the equal amount of frequency, we sort it in descending. So here three occurs twice and two occurs twice. So three goes first before two. So how we can solve this is that first thing we can do is create a map and assign a create a map called nums frequency map. And now what we do is that we fill it out by looping through nums. And inside of it, set the nums frequency map with the current number and the frequency of it and increment the frequency. So it's gonna start off undefined. So if it starts off at undefined, we set it equal to zero and increment it. Then if we see that number again, we increment the, the frequency for that. Now what we can do is that we can sort, we can use this and sort it based on the map. So we can sort nums based on, and here's the tricky part. So if we're gonna compare, we're gonna do, we're gonna get through this number and then we're gonna add it to the, we're gonna find the frequency by the map. And then if th that's equal to what we're comparing it to, we sort it in descending. So if nums the p of the value from the nums frequency map at that index or equal return descending. So that's the edge case because if you sort it and they're the, they're the same values, it doesn't do anything. So we wanted to do something. So now we want to return an A setting, so A minus B, as JavaScript has it, based on the values from nums frequency. So I'll code it out so you know what I mean. So here's what we do. So first thing we create the map, const nums frequency map, and we can do a new map, great. Now we loop through nums. So for that n of nums, and then we can do nums frequency map dot set. And on the key side, it'll be a num. And then here's expression. We can check if someone, if this is truthy. So we can check if there's anything already there. If this comes out undefined, it'll hit this or that we have and we first set it to equal to zero. And then outside of, after you do that, either way, we increment it by one. So we set, at first we try this, we get the, if we have a value for that number in the map. If it does, we just get what we have before and add one. If not, we set it equal to zero. And then now we have the map and now we can sort it. So we can use this array and return what we have sorted here. So we can just return nums.sort and takes an A and B. And then here's the, here's 
here's the trick for it. So we have to check if they're equal. If nums frequency map dot get a is equal to b, we have to return in descending order. So we do b return b minus a. Otherwise, we just do it based on this. So we just return nums frequency map that get a minus nums frequency. So we're gonna get, get the value, we can get that index and then find the frequency and compare, see what we're comparing to and get that frequency and then we can compare based on that. Great. So that's it for this one, for the time and space complexity. Since we're doing, uh, we're looping new nums and then we're sorting it. We're gonna do O of N log N. And then the space complexity. So we're creating a map so n will be the length of n, so o of n. So that's how you solve this problem. Thank you so much.